political upheaval continues tonight in Frazier as the city's mayor and a councilman face accusations that they sexually harassed female city employees. Last night, city council met behind closed doors discussing a sealed report listing the claims. Our Nick Monticelli got his hands on that report and shows us what's inside. Good evening. There are some pretty hefty allegations in this report, ranging from vulgar comments to inappropriate touching. But the mayor says they were never told about any of this. In fact, they say this is a political witch hunt. This is the report that was sealed, but now you can decide for yourself what is happening inside Fraser City Hall. Four female employees describe either an uncomfortable or hostile working relationship with Mayor Joe Nichols or Councilman Matt Hemmelberg. There are handwritten accounts of alleged incidents. A Reader's Digest version includes hugs from the mayor, an employee said, were too long and too close, or Hemmelberg massaging the shoulders of a female worker. Some gave quotes accusing the mayor of saying things like, not everyone can wear leggings, but you can. Nice view over there. I'd like to bag that one. Or, I hate to see you go, but I like watching you leave. So far, none of the employees want to talk publicly, but Nichols and Hemmelberg are. Both say no one ever told them they felt uncomfortable. Have I ever said anything or done anything to purposely make somebody feel uncomfortable, make them feel harassed, to, to purposely insult them or anything? I, I treat people the way that they treat me. Nobody has ever came to me and said, hey, you know, you." rub my shoulder or you did this and you made me feel uncomfortable. To make matters more complicated, Nichols and Hemmelberg say these allegations are the work of a political witch hunt. Hemmelberg even goes as far to say that he was told if he voted a certain way on their budget, things would go away. It's two people have, you know, basically told me that if I voted for that five mils that, you know, they're pretty sure that that would help this go away. Now, a lawyer for Nichols says the very first step in all of this is for them to determine if this tribunal is even legal. At the Fraser City Hall, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.